We want to start again today with another update on the trial of Aaron Dean, the former Fort Worth police officer accused in the murder for the shooting deaths, uh, death of a Tatiana Jefferson. And today we heard some emotional testimony from Dean's partner who was with him the night that a Tatiana was killed. Let's get to our William Joy this afternoon who is live in Fort Worth. He's been covering this trial since it started. Uh, William, what can you tell us about today? Uh, Jason court's still going on right now, but we have had a very full day. We saw Aaron Dean's full body camera video from that night. We also got to see the forensic interview that was done with Zion Carr, Tatiana Jefferson's nephew. And we also heard, as you mentioned, from Officer Carol Darch, the officer who was with Aaron Dean that night. Darch testified for roughly four hours today, talking about everything that they saw, heard, and even thought when they were responding to that call. She explained that because it was an open structure call, not a welfare check, it's approached differently. And they didn't announce themselves because they didn't want to let any burglar there escape. They also said that the house looked like it had been ransacked. And the defense tried to emphasize that Dean thought he could be in danger at the home because before the fatal shot and that he was facing deadly force when Jefferson pulled up her gun. Darch said she never saw Jefferson's gun or could even tell if there was a man or woman at the window, only that she remembers seeing her eyes. She got emotional talking about Zion Carr. I hear him start giving out commands, so I drop my gun into the sole position. Um, and I go to turn around and about halfway through my turn is when I hear a shot ring out and I turn around and that's when I can see her. What are you the most concerned? Zion. What about? Just how he is, his well-being. Do you know that he testified yesterday? This one. Can I have a minute? We saw Zion Collar's full forensic interview today where he talks about being scared. He got emotional in that forensic interview that was done the night of the shooting. But that interview also contradicts the testimony he gave yesterday where he said he didn't see a gun. Did you hear anything when you saw the flashlight? Yeah. Tell me what you heard. He said, put your hands up. He said, put your hands up. I heard that. I got to figure out what I'm going to Right now, Dean's neighbor, excuse me, Jefferson's neighbor, James Smith, is testifying. He's the one who called the non-emergency line that night that started this whole call and response. We'll have a full recap of his testimony coming up this evening. Live in Fort Worth, I'm William Joy. And uh, th uh, William, thank you for that, for bringing us up to speed on day two in this trial. We want to remind everybody that we are streaming this trial start to finish online and not just the testimony either. Investigative reporter Tanya Iser, who was with us at this hour yesterday uh, to talk about the trial, uh, has legal experts on hand each day to break it all down. You can find our coverage on WFAA Plus, our streaming platform, as well as YouTube and WFAA.com. You can also find daily updates and a history of this case on our website, WFAA.com.